Taylor Olson in the chat room was asking about statistics programs. Uh, not calculating statistics like you would think, but more like web statistics to, so you could see how many people have visited your website or your blog in any given time. And there are a variety of ways that you can track statistics to your particular web page. He was asking specifically uh, Google Analytics versus Mint. So Google Analytics is free for anybody to use and it's given to you as a service by Google. Uh, Mint is uh, not free that I know of. It uh, is a program that you can install on your web server. Now see, that's where it kind of gets complicated for a lot of people. So for most people, Google Analytics is just fine. As a matter of fact, I'll take it a step further. The new version of Google Analytics is amazing. And if you haven't seen this, let's zoom in and take a closer look. So we're gonna take our webcam here and zoom in just a little closer. Now I'm not gonna give you everything here, but I'm gonna give you enough. So we're gonna go over to, there's a Google search. I'm gonna go over to my Google Stats account. Now this is the Google Analytics page and I've got a handful of, uh, I guess, sites that I'm tracking right now. Let's take a look at, uh, let's say, Ponzi's website. So I'm going to view the reports. Now I'm not going to, it's, it's kind of muddy because I really, I mean a lot of this stuff, I don't know if Ponzi really wants you to see. But there it shows, this is where I started tracking her website. Uh, and it, so it started coming, the statistics started coming in last week. So now I've got a, a nice little overview. And I scroll down, it gives me some nice numbers. It tells me she's had this many visits since it started tracking. Uh, approximately uh, one and a half pages every time a new visitor comes in. Uh, it shows me how many are new visits, the average time someone spends on the site, and the amount of page views. Because there's a difference between how many visits and how many page views. Very big difference. Because a visitor may see three pages. You understand? It's kind of it's simple math. I got a nice little map overlay that shows me where most of the people are coming in from. Uh, a visitor's overview, a pie chart that's showing me the traffic sources overview. It's very slick. And this Google Analytics program is free. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's easy. You just they, you set up a site. It gives you a little bit of code to copy and put into the source of your site. And if you're not sure how to do that, you might have to ask the person who helped you put the site together. And in some cases, your uh, your web provider or whoever's doing your website may already have this feature turned on for you. Um, now this, even though it's free, is something I would pay for. It's absolutely amazing. I can drill down even further and look like about all the details about my visitors, like what kind of browsers they use. Now this is Ponzi. Uh, so most of her visitors are using Internet Explorer. Most people are using, it even tells me their connectivity. Most people are using cable for her website that are coming in. Uh, some people are using a T1. 55 people were using dial-up. Oh my goodness, there are people still using dial-up. Uh, I can go and drill down even further and look at the traffic sources. Now this is where it gets really interesting to me. So it tells me for her website the top traffic sources. Number one are, is uh, all the clicks that come over from my blog. Number two is Google and then it goes, it goes down from there. Uh, then it has keywords. These are the keywords that bring people into her site the most. Ponzi, small business accounting software, wedding vows, Ponzi schemes, Ponzi scheme. Now I can drill down even further and get a full report from the source. And I like doing that. I like going and looking to see what searches people are looking for in Google to come to a website. So here it says Google sent 291 non-paid visits via 203 keywords. And then it drills down and it says these are all the keywords that are being used to visit the page. This is amazing. Now I realize someone's saying, Chris, that stuff you're reading is covered by the chat. Well, that's that's kind of on purpose. I mean, this these you know these are Ponzi stats. I don't want to be too specific uh, about about this stuff. I mean, that's it's kind of private information for some people. They don't want to necessarily share this stuff. So um, this is really weird. Opera or I'm not Opera. Oprah, <laughs> Oprah the JJ. Uh, boy, people just search for the weirdest things. Um, coffee chaos. Uh, just some, some strange stuff, but this is a way when you use an analytics program like Google Analytics or any statistics program you're going to have not only a better understanding of how the world finds you but you're going to have a better idea about what your visitors are going to want to read uh, what they're coming to you for what is Ponzi's site called? Hopefully someone will key it in. Thank you Zoomerix. 
uh, Ponzarelli.com. And, oh, guess 66. Yay, I found Chris again. Missed him from Tech TV days. This, what we're doing here, is way better than Tech TV based on the fact that I just responded to you, no filter whatsoever. So there you go. My suggestion for people, Mint versus Google Analytics. Google Analytics all the way. It's easier, and let me tell you, it's only getting more and more powerful. Gotta love Google.